Hello there. Today I want to talk to you about appreciating inclusion by appreciating authenticity. And the there's a bit of a, a wordplay that's involved here that I love for you to think about and see how you can bring it into life. And the the wordplay is around the word appreciated. Now there's an appreciation which I'll define generally being um, the appreciation that that one has when they're uh, recognizing or celebrating or valuing something. Saying, you know, I appreciate you, for an example, as an example. And then there's also appreciation from the monetary perspective. Uh, ten tends to uh, deal with investments and how things appreciate over time. Um, and that means that their, their value continues to grow. And so I'd love to play with both of those def definitions uh, for both of these words here. What does it look like to appreciate, meaning to uh, recognize, celebrate, and value uh, inclusion or authenticity? Uh, what does it look like to appreciate, uh, as in to grow in value uh, and to grow in worth, uh, inclusion and authenticity? And how do they play together? What's the interchange? What's the exchange here amongst it? Where this is coming from is, first I just think wordplay is fun, right? It gets us to think a bit. Uh, and the area around here is that uh, in a lot of the work that I'm doing now, I'm working with people and organizations to really capture the value that comes from diversity and inclusion. We're doing a lot of work to, uh, to create more inclusive environments. We're doing a lot of work to uh, give people, uh, to, to help people show up more unapologetically. And with what I've found is that there are some organizations where they've actually created a, an inclusive environment and they have quote unquote diverse, a diverse population from whatever they consider diverse to be. Um, and at the same time, they're not really getting any additional value from it because they haven't, the, the people themselves in there don't, aren't leveraging their, their uniqueness, aren't leveraging their, uh, what I would call their authenticity uh, in a way that allows for uh, the new ideas, the new thoughts, the new ways of approaching things to come to life. And so in this case here, we've, we've set up an inclusive environment, which is, which um, I won't even, I won't even put it in whether it's hard or not. We've set up an inclusion, inclusive environment and yet the people aren't able to really, uh, aren't, aren't able to make, make the most from it. And so the, like the conditions are there, but the value isn't being extracted. On the other side of things, we have the um, areas where it doesn't feel inclusive and you still have the person that comes in and decides that they are gonna be authentic in, uh, in this space. So in this space here, we have what I'll call like the lone pioneer who's going out against the wilderness and, uh, and going against wild and rough ter terrain. And it's up to this individual to, uh, to remain steadfast in their authenticity. And oftentimes, that ends up being um, you know, a perceived cost to, to showing up this way. And so, with that here, I wanted to, I wanted to kind of look at this and, and give us an opportunity to explore what would it actually look like to both appreciate inclusion while appreciating authenticity. So how do we get, how do we grow the value of inclusion by helping our individual members within uh, the teams, the groups, the environments, the families, and the relationships that we have to feel more comfortable bringing out the, their authenticity, showing up in an authentic way. I apologize for the noise in the background. Uh, this, this is coming to me in real time, and I, I know that it's better to serve you through this than to, um, than to wait to create a, a pristine environment. For those of you where this is important, you'll grab and take the information that, that is necessary and you'll make, make something of it. So I'm acknowledging it, I apologize for it, and we're moving forward. So the question here in, in your, it, that I'd like to pose for you is, in what areas have you created an inclusive environment where you're not celebrating and recognizing and valuing authenticity? Where each individual within it doesn't feel that their authentic self, and not just their authentic self because of their skin tone or uh, sexual orientation or gender uh, is at play, but their actual authentic self. I say this, one of the reasons I feel I was able to be successful for so long uh, in, the, in, uh, in the US is because I didn't consider myself a black male. 
I just wouldn't allow the labels to really uh, drive what I do. And it's something that, that bothers me, uh, to be honest, when it comes to inclusion, because I'm like, ugh, sometimes I feel like I have to be a black male. If you really want to get to know me, if you really want to extract my value, call me as Nemo. I am the most quirky person that, that, <laughs> that you might meet. I'm intense, I'm intimidating, I'm full of joy. I am uh, someone that brings people together. That has absolutely nothing to do in the grand scheme of things with the color of my skin, my gender, or my sexual orientation. Now there's elements about who I am because of all three of those things that make that have made that a part of, uh, of how I show up, absolutely. And to really extract the value from Nemo, you really need to get into the authenticity piece. So I want to, I'll leave this at, at, at I'll leave this with you to think about. I'll leave it for, for you to, to see what emerges for you and see in what areas are we looking at appreciating authenticity so that we can appreciate to grow in value the inclusion and play around with this. Perhaps you find it more interesting to look at it in, in, from the standpoint of how do we appreciate uh, as in to recognize and value and celebrate inclusion in a way that appreciates and grows authenticity. There's so much interplay in here that I want to be able to offer you. And I think that the idea here, and this is the places that I'm taking uh, my clients nowadays, is both to understand and recognize and create the conditions for an inclusive environment or for the individuals that I work with to understand, recognize, and create the conditions for them to be authentic and for them to get the value of, on that return, to get the return on that investment in themselves, to get the return of that investment in their organizations. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to do. And at the same time, it's the game that's worth playing. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, love to see how, how um, things evolve for you. And with that, I'll go ahead and end this, this here. Here's to your next frontier, journey on. Leave a comment, I cannot wait to get back to you, bye.